Hey everybody, welcome back to more uh, KOTOR. So, it's been a little bit since I've recorded, but I haven't really actually had any time to do it, so I've missed, like, a lot of uploads. Uh, but we're on the finale, I think, of this game. So that's a little cool. I'm gonna be able to do something else. Got like something on your mind, dude? Uh, yeah, I guess we're going straight into this. Oh, that was not until many years <sighs> later to tell the Alrighty. truth. I spent quite some time wandering the galaxy. Aren't we, like, on... Right now? Why wouldn't they? I had refused my promotion to Jedi. I was a Padawan who had left the Order, nothing more. I traveled from one civilized system to the next, never staying long. I don't even think I knew what I was searching for. It wasn't as if my travels were pleasant either. There were plenty of folks who distrusted the Jedi after the war, or worse. If people weren't treating me with suspicion, they were looking at me with greed. I don't know how many thought they could make use of me for their own ends. I got so sick of the treachery and deceit. I left the civilized parts of the galaxy and headed instead for the uncivilized parts. Actually, I was on my way somewhere else when I crashed landed on Kashik. The ship I was using was a rust bucket. <laughs> I'm no mechanic, oh. and besides, after you plunge nose first in the trunk of a five kilometer high tree, chances are you don't have much ship left. Okay, so you survived? I'd taken oh, some damage okay. passing through an unexpected asteroid field, as I recall, but I wasn't completely without some systems. I could still guide her a bit when I crashed. It wasn't what I would call the smoothest landing, especially considering I ended up smack in the depths of the Shadowlands. Yeah. But I lived. Yeah, that's pretty, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like a Jedi thing, is surviving crash landings. Isn't it? Like, because they use the Force or whatever, I don't know. Um... I mean, uh... Sure, why there. not? It seemed like an interesting enough place to spend a couple of decades exploring. Mm. That was a challenge at first. You've seen the kind of creatures that exist down there. And you miss the really big ones. I was still able to rely on the Force to keep me safe for the most part. The rest of the trick is keeping out of the way of most of the Predators. No, oh, that's true. Still, most of the creatures grow accustomed to me, and I to them. At least none of them ever heard of a Jedi. Oh, they did at first, oh yes. I can't say I was overly pleased to encounter a group of indigenous giant carpets either, I can assure you of that. Well, that was after two decades of helping them. They certainly didn't trust me at first. When I could, I would assist a few young ones who would get lost in the Shadowlands or attacked unexpectedly by the wildlife. I must say, for a while there the Wookiees actually thought I was some kind of benevolent forest god. Amusing, really. I set them straight eventually. At first, when the slavers took to hunting down lone Wookiees in the fringes of the Shadowlands, I did my best to divert them. Later, when Shundar made his deal, I didn't see any point. I wasn't here to save them from their own sad follies, after all. Nonsense. I had no idea that's what they were thinking for a long time. I just thought they were being friendly neighbors, leaving fruit and such for me. Later, when I started to understand some of their grunting, I realized they would say prayers to the hairless one before descending into the forest. <laughs> hairless one. I used to have plenty of hair, I tell you. <clears throat> At any rate, it took a few bruises, but I set the record straight. I traveled to Rookworo and met with the chieftain in front of everyone. Freyr swatted at me just to see if I was real or not. I was real, and while it was a light swat, Wookiees are terribly strong. I was knocked out cold for a day. The Wookiees all thought it was quite funny. Uh, not really. really Kashik is a soon. place you can feel very small in. It felt good to devote my time to helping people and living simply. What can I say? I did it all for the Wookiees. The Wookiees? Well, okay, maybe I needed some time on a quiet and remote planet, but if you ever need a friend, an incredibly strong hairball isn't a bad call. 
Uh, I suppose I am in a way, despite the smell. For a race of gardeners, they've developed quite interestingly. Gardeners, yeah, because they. You remember they, uh, the alien computer, yeah. correct? Kashik was meant to be an agricultural planet. The Wookiees were made for a reason, or at least that's what I'm thinking. But I'm an old man who's had a long time to develop that opinion, so don't argue with me. At any rate, we should be moving along, don't you think? If yeah, you sat around this long game. in the Shadowlands, attack would eat you. Okay. Thank goodness, finally. Okay, let's just. It says Candorus has. That yeah, what? Candorus, doesn't it? Nope. Okay. You're. Uh, let's go. Okay, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm going out. Okay. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they. Oh no. Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. Yeah. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Starforge and find Bastila. Hurry! Remember, this is really hard. <laughs> this is this gets really difficult. Let me save. Uh, um, uh, uh, Star Forge AB. Okay, perfect. Cool. Nice. I don't normally have a bunch of save slots, but I suppose I should when I play these games. You probably also should because this game crashes sometimes and it's a little bit broken. Okay, 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 okay. Lord Malak, a team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Star Forge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Star Forge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but... How can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Star Forge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. It's rad. The Jedi have invaded the Star Forge. Destroy them. Destroy them all. <laughs> Too worried about that. Your body didn't look too worried either. Okay, just for a droid. You will fall! I see. Take that! I see. Got him. I will be your doom! Thinking <laughs> that would have been okay. Maybe I just sucked at the game the last time. What's that? Elevator. I don't think I can use that one, so let's see. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, So much, it's so good. They all get computer spikes. 
Please don't go to the tree. I should not go close to these doors anymore. I'll just wait. No? Okay. I was really expecting it to blow up like the rest of the We're so epic. survive until I get there, I guess. Just a little wacky. Also, auto repair That's weird. I've never seen that item this entire time that I've been playing this game. I've been playing this game for like a decade. I can't believe I've never actually seen it. I'm also gonna save again because worrying. Good thing I ruined the music by pausing. That's awesome. Is this maybe where it gets hard? Why have you disturbed me? I have news, Lord Malak, about the Jedi. Ah, the Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? No. Did they destroy our enemies? N no, Lord Malak. The droids could not stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the Starforge's battle droids. droids it, it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes, that would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops, the apprentices as well. Do you, do you think? 
think they can stop Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. Oh, probably. But they, they will they slow are. Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Star Forge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master will make an interesting test Big subject. Man. Why does it look like it's not going anywhere? Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh no. Have I been really quiet this whole time? Oh. Wow. I guess my dialogue is. I will be your doom! Still doing it. She's still going. No, oh, probably not. Going. And that didn't heal her. It's okay. Oh, there's a lot of dudes. Okay, well, we did say this was going to be difficult. 59 big kids. Okay, so I'm about to die. 
chaser. also completely my fault given that I walked away to grab loot while we were in the middle of that fight. Oops. My audio is like not going up. I can't really hear I can't really hear myself over the rest of the game. It's weird. I'm not really sure what the problem is with the audio. Oh we saw this already. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like he's set to use them. I don't understand the point of him being set to uh, have his like, use his force abilities if he just doesn't. Are you actually set to? Yeah, you're set to that script. Yes. Oh, what? Worthless, man. They both do nothing. Skip this. I'm... I am. <laughs> cool. I'm watching them walk away real slowly. I'm really glad that I have to watch that. I'm saving right here. Uh, this is going to be longer than a normal episode, given that it's like the last episode of this. I... <laughs> Oh my god. 
Besides, like, ones that give me a little bit of health when I was on Taurus uh, a long time ago. Not in this place. Yet. Let's go. Your wish? Hmm? Heal, please. Just heal. What? What is it? Yes? What? Oh, that was so difficult. Saving again since everyone's alive and you have full health. Those shouldn't be hard. Don't run up to that abuse. Now there's a thing over here. A real, a real useful thing. But if you go over to it, you can do something epic to help you with this epic gamer strat that I learned in my last five years. here and get absolutely demolished and then I think that the I guess you could activate sentry guns, right? I suppose I could do that. So, uh, this just gives you a really, really good pit set of armor for your character. Yes, it's the Starforge armor and the Starforge robes. Ooh, this stuff is so cool. I can't even, I can't put it on because these guys showed up to kill me. Awesome. I just wanted to put it on
Wisdom. Let's go. Uh, I can't even actually see what the, the suit is I'm wearing. It's the it's the suit you usually see Jedi Knight Revan wear instead of like the Sith Lord version of Revan. Oh good. so close now maybe I should split this into two episodes uh, I don't know when I'll get to record again oh. master why have you summoned me without my battle meditation there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself this will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Star Forge. Revan? But... The Force is bringing us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Star Forge has drawn our enemies together, so they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastila, but it is unfounded. The power of the Star Forge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. Stay here in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, Master. 
I will not fail you again. I don't know, I mean, I beat you up pretty good last time. You didn't really do a whole lot to, uh, to like, stop me. Perhaps you will triumph, Bastula. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Star Forge. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, it's been pretty tough, but I've been doing okay. I think I am going to split this into two episodes. I didn't think that this was going to take this long, but uh, I'm a little bit upset that it's taking forever. I'm going to save so I don't actually have to see that whole thing again. Um, I'm going to try to get another one of these videos out soon, but I have no idea when I'll be able to. I haven't really been able to record lately. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Uh, not really had enough quiet time to record an entire like 30 to 40 minute videos. So if you liked the video, leave a like, share the video with your friends, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.